hello guys today uh, we are going to look at this just amazing problem actually this is a problem where i got stuck a little bit because it takes a bit of a brain and it takes a bit of thinking to think how to solve and approach this problem because it clearly says arrays but the libraries and the commands we'll be using are different it's called vectors in c++ and uh, as you can see we can when we click here it directs us to this vector place and this is so small i didn't even see it in the first time so i got confused myself but after going to this page i understood everything what's a vector and what's it so mainly this hacker rank site is a competitive programming site and uh, i'll talk about competitive programming in uh, a later video and i'm also just a beginner to it i'm a, a first year student and i'll be doing competitive programming with you it's like we'll do competitive programming together we'll progress together and uh, i'll walk through every problems to solve this so in every step in every increase in difficulty there will come a problem where most of you will tend to get stuck so this is where we'll stop this is where i'll make a video this is where i'll walk through you let's start with this variable size arrays So let us start by seeing the input format competitive coding. We have to see all these inputs constraints and the outputs means that this will be the input given to us. This is a, these are the constraints. These constraints are not that important in a beginner level, but they will surely come at importance when we are uh, solving advanced problems where we are limited by time. And this is the output. How should we display the output? Even if you get the right outputs and you don't display it correctly, like there is a space meeting, uh, missing between these outputs, this platform will give you a error message for the first line contains two spaced integers denoting values n number of variable length arrays means this will be our parent array. We'll be creating a 2d array kind of thing in this problem. And, uh, First, we will create a parent array of this variable size n and then we'll input q. q is the number of outputs that will be generated. These are the numbers of means uh, the number of numbers the program is asking. Then for each line i of the n subsequent lines contain the space sequence, save uh, separated sequence describing k element arrays this means 2 is our n and these next two lines represent our array information means the children or inner array information like the first element of the parent array will be an array of size 3 with elements 1 5 4 the second array of the second element of the first array will be an array of size 5 with the elements 1 2 8 9 3 so first let's get into, into it so first I'll copy this code. I have copied already into my own IDE. It's based on personal preference. I, uh, I prefer this because it's a bit faster. So here I have uh, written the number, uh, the steps that I have to write. Let's perform our first step that is getting n and q. So first we'll declare int n q p in n q. So now just to check that if we are getting the right thing we'll see out sorry not count we'll see out and then we'll see out q so now my program is compiled as you can see i have an exe file i have to run it and check if i have done everything correctly this is a very important step debugging as we write problems is very very important even if i have written only three lines I have to check if I have, do, I have done this correct because later on if we write many lines of code and then debug it all at once sometime it happens that if I haven't like if I am doing an error I have uh, declared int nq I have to declare a long instead and my pro, uh, program is giving an error so because of this long hundreds and lines of codes can give errors and we are thinking that we are uh, our program has a hundred errors but instead it just has only one so debug as we go sorry not here 
I'll go here. I'll copy the input. Copy. And I'll paste it. So these are all irrelevant for right now already. Our main motto was to get NQ and NQ are here. And this I have printed NQ again back. So it's okay. It's fine. No problems right here. We have to create a vector. We have to define a vector. Okay. Vector. And inside a vector, we have another vector. And inside that, we'll have integers. Understand? We have a vector of vectors. That is vector of vector of integers. It's array inside an array. And the inside array contains an integer. It it seems a bit complicated, but it's not that. And uh, this this I'll name this vector of vector the parent vector as a, and its size is n. As you can see, as defined by the problem, I've created the parent array. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is loop through each element of a vector so that we can assign its value. So for i n t i equals zero i is less than n i plus plus c this is if i would have used the online code editor it would have taken me a long to type this but it's fine so first i'll go here then i'll create a vector of i n t that i'll call k okay so First, I'll sorry. Integer k size. First, I'll take in size. Now, the first. See here, the first input value. This is the vector size. So I'll first input k. C in k underscore size. Then I'll create a vector k of k underscore size. Okay, then for again int uh, j this time not i I'll take j k underscore size j hmm. so now we'll take in int current value c in current value and then assign k of i equals to current value this is a conventional method for uh, shortcut methods we can remove this we'll current uh, we'll directly see in k j single line code then let's print the out k J again the thing debugging as each step goes on. So let's see again. I took in integers n q. I created a vector. I ran through the vector. Means I I haven't ran through the vector right now until now, but I will. So don't worry. I made a integer k. I took k. Let's see this. If it see out, k size, and if it gives us the correct value, k size, k size. Here, let's put an end line so we get a correct value. And we don't get everything messed up. Similarly, so I guess this is nice. I guess this will work. See out again an end line at the last. Let's run this. Build it. Build it. Run it to my two 
nice then we'll input so our inputs are this copy paste them so see for the first array our k size is this three for our first array the size of the array is three and the input the content of array is one four five four for this second array the size is five and the contents are one two eight nine three so here i can see that i am getting exactly a nice input output systems means i am getting all the input values correct as you can also see from this value the first array is zero one five four here our first array is one five four second array one two eight so our arrays are correct now so we can do one thing is uh, or we can assign a i as k okay now this line a i equals k now first let's remove all the c out things because we know that this is working properly we don't need any more debugging right here so this will be a reduced code for every element of a for first we'll get the k array the arrays these are we'll get its size then we'll create an uh, arbitrary array then we'll get its elements and we'll get an array k a vector then since the ve uh, parent vector is a and the elements of the parent vector a are a vector so we can directly assign for zero for the first element we can assign the first entered k for the second element again k third element k so as as we are getting a as we are getting the vector k's or the inner vectors in the input we are directly going to assign them in this form so let's go to the output then this number 2 defines that we'll get two separate i's values of i and j and for each value we have to give an output so for first we'll do something we'll for i and t i is i not let's not say i because it not a also let's be z because then uh, we'll get uh, confused which i is i which z is z so for less than q z plus plus the code will be first we'll take int i comma j then first we'll see in i j here we take input of these values and now we have to output a i j so let me see just one we don't have to return it we just have to print it print the single integer so c out a i and j and we can end line because it's given we have to place it in every another line so from here we can see what are we getting here we created our input arrays we created our this 2d vector let me write it 2d vector so here we created our 2d vector here we populated that 2d vector or we gave it inputs or we defined the number of elements inside it we have our parent array a and inside that a we have a array k and inside that k we have integers so now for every i j we have to first give the position of the array inside the parent array so for ith array inside a we have to give the jth element of the ith array means you understand like in this system we have this is the second array and this is its third so if we get input i23 we will print it let's see from here if it's we get 0 a 0 comma 1 so in the parent element the zeroth array means the first array will be 154 and its first element is first element one means its second element so let's see for 0 comma 1 0 means for the first 
array inside our parent array will give one means the second element of the given array so for zero we get array one this one five four and for zero we get five similarly for one we get this array because it's the second array and for three we get zero one two three nine so we print nine so similarly for i and j we print the given values let's try and compile and run it and debug it for any problems so let's copy this we'll paste this press enter so see for the first input we get 5 for the second input we get 9 so now we know our code is working we can remove all these comments we are seeing if we can refractor uh, refractor means just i can make it to look good a little bit so this is control a cut uh, sorry not cut i like to keep it copy control a paste let's run it here once again i am getting the right input output submit it will run through all the test cases and as you can see it passed all the test cases so this was the last introduction challenge see i have got the three star badge i'm just a beginner as i have said in the earlier in the video so i'll uh, suggest you all to subscribe to my channel and like this video so that we all can run through this together goodbye guys keep coding